Disclaimer, copyrights enforced. The following is based on true events, facts, fiction, second party, observations, nonsense, hearsay, bullshit. You be the judge. One thing we guarantee is 100% pure entertainment. All names, places, persons, and things, etc. have been changed for privacy issues. This show is R-rated, may contain obscene language, nudity, not for persons under 18. Please listen responsibly. I'm ready, bros. I'm ready. Welcome, listeners. Blowhard Talk Art here with Julian. Tracy. Pat, the producer, is in the house. And Stop talking, Pat. Anyways, we also have a very lovely special guest today, Miss Maxine Stryker, Mistress Maxine Stryker. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Thank you. Welcome to the program. How are you today? I'm terrific. Thank you. You look very lovely. Thank you. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel like you're a little intimidating. (laughs) Oh, I'm um, sorry. No, it's not. It's not your fault. It's, not, it's just. I get that a lot. Do you? I do. Uh, whether it's uh, for fetish work or at the gym, I'm. Guys, I'm, they I'm don't. Kind of used to hearing that. They yeah. don't give you that second look, like they're like, oh. oh. No. no, because I remember having that conversation on the phone, and I go, I'm 6'1", 300 pounds, and you go, I'll choke you out. Yeah, and? and I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. I care if you're trained. I don't care what your weight or your height or anything else is. I care if you're trained. That's it. That's why I'm intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to choke me out. <laughs> choke paddle, do us a favor. Okay. So well, basically, <laughs> um, this whole dominatrix industry, it's pretty uh, thriving these days, correct? Like, um, Depends on the part of the world that you're talking about specifically. In Canada, not quite as much yet. Canada is still a very, still, you know, realistically, by comparison to Europe and the United States and Japan, still very sexually conservative. Like vanilla? Like we're not... Quite vanilla. There's not a whole lot of uh, fetish escorts or dominatrixes or professional subs across Canada. Um, Toronto does seem to have the largest concentration of, sure. yeah. of, of kink providers. Yeah. But across Canada, they're, they're very, very spread out. They're actually very far and few between per capita. And why do you think that is? Because we're just not... Um, Canada's, we're new? The, Canada's still a very young country, right? Mm-hmm. We just uh, we haven't had the decades and centuries of experience that places like Japan or uh, different... Or, or England or... What, what do they do that's different, for example, that you would do, that they, they do more than you wouldn't or Canadian it's girls wouldn't? Not so much that they do more, it's that um, it's much more... Open, open to the, yeah, like to the in, world? Yeah, in, in Japan, it's, it's, it's been around longer, so it's mm-hmm. just it's deemed more... Cons- more acceptable. More acceptable, yeah. that as long as uh, you are proper in public, do whatever you want behind closed doors. Okay kind of thing. It, they've just had longer to develop and grow. But you feel that it's growing, it's catching up, I think so. It's certainly catching on, yes. Oh. Uh, more so, I personally believe, in the last three to five years. Yeah. And when you mentioned sub, there's not very many subs I noticed. There are professional subs. Uh, again, not very many. I didn't know there were any at all in Toronto until I uh, started creeping on the page of... Yeah, uh, that's what I do. I creep. I'm like yeah. a pervert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> but there isn't very many, like, subs, like, no. real subs, right? No, not many. What's a real... What's a sub? A girl like that's, a like, a professional submit- sub? Yeah, like, what is she? Like, she's there for the guy? He to- or she. Um, there's, oh, okay. uh, there's both. And uh, I didn't... Honestly, I didn't know that there were any in existence at all until I started creeping on the page of uh, Ritual Chamber Toronto. Yes. And there's uh, professional submissives there. So I've never met one personally, but I have to imagine it's someone that's the flip opposite of me, but in a professional sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, that just they're, um, So being a professional sub, I'm sure they have to have some sort of experience with now I, I I hate I fucking hate this phrase is leading from the bottom. Leading from the bottom. So they have to be able to if uh, the the do, and I'm using air quotes here if the dominant is inexperienced that they know how to make suggestions without making commands or orders. The the sub person. The sub if they're a professional sub. 
Uh huh. And there's also a switch too, right? I, I, Those I, knew, exist. I know I know a girl that was a switch, but yeah. uh, she, as a she was more like like she was actually very sweet about the whole thing. It was kind of mm -hmm. weird. Like <laughs> not for me. Like somebody described it. Like she was very open to like pain and this and that. But then she could turn it around and whack you in the head. Yeah, that's a thing in both uh, male and female and. Um... But that's not your cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Um, I did have. <laughs> God, I wish we were videotaping this. No, this is funny. Like I, I have a relationship with an alpha male. Um, like me. Yes. Okay. Thank but you. he is the only one that I uh, listen to. That I listen to, or that I say please and thank you, and you know, I we'll, gotcha. we'll, we'll talk. That's more. your real life, right? Yeah, that's my. He's. I... I'm integrating him into my. My oh. kink life, actually. I've, oh, okay. I've told him enough stories that he's become interested. Of and course, he's, he's of course. Gonna, he's going to be doing some content with me. and. Um, oh, okay, okay. No, he's a... Oh, he's going he's gonna to be the sub? No. Oh, oh gonna, no, 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 no. So, no it's oh, you just, guys are going to uh, get a sub. We're going to get a sub. We're going to get a few subs. Uh, there's... You guys are going to double team these guys or whoever. Uh, there's, there, well, there's an infinite number of possibilities with oh. kink. Like it's Yeah, that's the thing. People <laughs> do not really understand, like... I yeah. guess I'm a little bit naive. So maybe, yeah. what do you think the like people should know about this whole, like say I wanted to book an hour okay. or two hours. Yes. Why would I want to book? Am I curious? So do what, I have it in my blood? Am I, did I see a video? Like So there's, uh, there's two distinctive answers that I give to that question. The type of people that come to see me. Yes. Um, that, uh, that develop the interest in kink or BDSM specifically. Um, one is interesting and one is kind of a sad answer. Oh. Uh, let's get the sad one out of the way first. So <laughs> I feel like laughing, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, yeah, I, I do too. What's wrong with me? So. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have cuckoo heads, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for some people, it's a, a way to regain a safe space, um, either in a sexual sense or or internally for them overall. Okay. That uh, if I actually understand that. If they've been abused in any oh, capacity, physically or sexually, then mm. being a dom is a way for them to regain that control and to kind of be more at peace with themselves. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, and there's there's different variations of of uh, psychological stories like that, um, or maybe they experienced something traumatic or not when they were younger like I have uh, <laughs> there's somebody at the that I told this story to very recent uh, my alpha actually you what my, my alpha oh your alpha your man your man him, yes yes your alpha is that um, I, like I that. have a client with a balloon fetish okay and uh, the majority of that appointment is his hands are tied behind his back for the duration of the appointment and I'm just I'm fully clothed and I'm popping balloons in front of him. in front of the, in front of his face, and then it, there's a wet spot in his pants, and then he goes home. That's amazing. And right? Wow. Yeah. And um, I'm stunned. So as a child, he had now he I don't know the specific story. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask because at the time I felt it wasn't my place to ask. But he's had some sort of a childhood fond memory involving balloons. Blowing like pig. pig. Okay. Yeah, with with balloons. Um, Did he masturbate during this, or he just just? No, he had his hands tied behind his back. Oh, he of course. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, sorry. I got lost. Okay. Well, I got, got confused. It's a lot of Pay moving attention. parts to the these stories. And, and then so. he just came. He just comes. Yeah. That was, that was all right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like the, the guys who watch the clowns, or the, the there guys? are <laughs> there are. Uh, Clients that have clown fetishes. Is, yes. Are these people usually popular, like strong in their mid during the week, like oh. a lawyer, and then so, on the weekend he wants to be a baby? So that that was kind of the other uh, part of the story that I didn't quite uh, get. So circling back to that answer um, from earlier, that yeah. there's two types of clients that come to see yes. me. One, the sad, boohoo, traumatic, past, blah blah blah. The second type, they've kind of seen and done everything out there. You so know, bored? like they they've got yeah they're 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 bored with their lives. They're usually people who have so fucking much money yeah. that mm. they have literally explored every pleasure that money could ever afford them. Yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. looking at something different, or um, they like 
they like a change from their everyday lives. Right. Uh, a lot of the clients that I see are doctors, lawyers, uh, CEOs. Is that because they're bored with their life or is it because they have so much stress during the week that they need to be brought down to a, another Both. level? Both. Oh. Uh, little column A, little column B. Yeah, okay. Because I knew this that. big power lawyer and on the weekend he would dress up with diapers and a bib and it's kind of like... That, that's a common one. Um, oh, it is? Third most common type of client I have are uh, the ones that like ball busting. The kicks. kicks. That is That is so fucked up. <laughs> oh, I watched, I'll do you I, one I, I better. Wa I've watched, okay, go ahead. Um, I, the I, ones that like ball busting are usually doctors. Really? Yeah. <laughs> But how do you kick? Wow. I've watched a video of a girl. <laughs> she winds up. And listeners, this is, I'm sure people have seen these videos. You full out kick, right? Like a field goal, like in, like in football. But how, like if you right now flick me like well, this I, on my balls, I would cry. Well, see, I can do MMA, so I can do you better than a soccer kick. Oh my it God. is kind of the thing here. <laughs> but do they suck their balls in or something? No. So, but how do they withstand the pain? I don't have the plumbing to give you the proper Jesus. answer to that. <laughs> Okay, as a so, guy, as pa if you flick the ball like this, we go down. If, if like I've a, seen that, yes. If yeah. a tennis ball, you're playing hockey or something, you get hit the groin, you go down. Right. I get right, it. It's hard, it's hard to mentally digest. And I then, understand. And then you see these videos of the girls winding up. It's like, yep. I always thought maybe the guy sucks them up somehow. That way you're not really kicking him. That would be magical, but no. That's <laughs> so, yeah. That's, uh, I don't think testicles are, are that magical. That. Uh, so they just love to get kicked. Yep. Like how hard? Like, 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 what does the well, point? Well, I'm not gonna come over there and show no, you. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not volunteering for that one. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to drive later. Yeah, <laughs> I have to live later. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. But they, they were like, they recover like in like right away or like. That's not my problem. Jesus, I love mm. this girl. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's not my issue. If you're stupid enough to, to come see someone who's ready for a. And they line up right. For, for ball busting, yeah, absolutely. Really? Like, uh, in fact, the one ball busting client that uh, I remember that the first- Are they young or old people to interrupt you, sorry? No, yeah. like all- So like a 22 year old, a, tw a 20 year old guy will come for you to kick him in the- yeah? Yep. So it's not just an older thing, because no. you said they were bored maybe. No. So these are people who just experiment. Well, like kids that live in Richmond Hill, for example. They got money, families, mm -hmm. and the internet's made them, everybody's and, all. There yeah, you go. Right. They see it at all, they want to play the game. Yep. Yeah. You found that roadmap yeah. right there. Yeah. Right. Wow. Exactly. So this, uh, you were saying that, 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 that you were kicking somebody? And um, so we, this, this uh, gentleman had booked two hours. I had another client that was on the way and scheduled, and he so, said, uh, like, so you have to hurry the fuck up. I, yeah. yeah, so he said, uh, can I come back later? For more. And he did. He went so for- So for two hours you kicked them? I kicked them for two hours. He went for a walk <laughs> for one hour while I kicked somebody else. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then he came back for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holy fuck me, that. man. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and that's crazy, right? Like, but you yeah. think like, like it's like, it's okay. Like, how do you know you could do that? How did you know you could do it? Like, could you do that, Tracy? Could you just kick somebody in the balls? Like, I'll you say try like Pat right now. You say that like I haven't done it in the past. Oh, <laughs> my apologies. I like her. Yeah, my apologies. I like her a lot. <laughs> okay, so it's, you could do it? Yeah, if, Jesus. Well, if it's warranted. <laughs> no, no, no. Love the enthusiasm. <laughs> I love, I, I love yes, that. Yes. All right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm kind of speechless, but okay. Gotta remember, these are willing participants. Yes, it's of not course, like anyone's of sitting there screaming no, and crying. No, like, no, no, no. I know they no. want. Well, they, they are screaming and crying, but it's consensual. But yeah. They. Uh, I remember I met this one. She was like a four foot girl, like Dom. She goes, I put this guy three hours. He was in the corner shivering. Yeah. And I'm looking at her going, really? Come on, man. But she goes, he was shivering. That's how much she fucked him up. Yeah. You, you do that wow. to people too? Like, I'm capable. Well, by kicking him sure. in the balls for an hour, I think that's pretty good of called fucking him up. Um, verbal humiliation is more what fucks people up from me. Really? And, and the, the fetish, mental, the fetish wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I, seen your, I seen your Twitter actually when you have the guy in that like leg hold, like with your legs wrapped around his head. That's uh, not technically a leg hold. So okay. if legs are around the head. That's a triangle choke. Oh, triangle or, choke. Or, or a teepee choke or something else. 
a leg hold is when you're trying to like break their leg. Oh, okay. Mm. Thank you. I didn't know. He's Sorry. A, he's out of practice. With well, so you gave him a nice, uh, what'd you call it again? Leg. It was a triangle choke. Triangle choke. Yeah. And then you tap out. Or pass out, whichever we've talked about. Ah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They crossed that line too, eh? Absolutely. Jesus. I get a lot, and I mean like a lot of inquiries that are, that ask like, how many times could you make me pass out in an hour? And that makes, I, the, that makes them come, right? Because I knew a girl, yeah, she, yes. you had to choke her. And then she goes, you have to wake me up. And I was like, are you kidding, man? I go, like, look at my hand. I don't well, want to Well, if break the guy would choke her correctly the first time, she wouldn't be repeatedly asking. It's because all these guys are out there and they don't know how to properly choke. Of course not. We're not is, the... Is the thing. Is that everyone chokes by putting... Now it's tough to de demo over a podcast. Yes, yes. They yeah. typically, they, they close like their singular hand <coughs> around Excuse. the windpipe, which can actually cause a lot of damage and it's not... An effective choke <coughs> in the first place. Um, like you have to have like a choke hold with their um, with their windpipe kind of in the crook of your elbow and cutting off the the blood circulation to the brain oh. and uh, like applying steady even pressure with like your arm. Like in wrestling, the sleeper hold. And they would just That's a sleeper hold. A there sleeper. are infinite number of. And how does he get up after? How does he wake up? I wake him up. I. Slap, slap them, them around bit. and like I make I make him drink water and like I you know how many fingers am I holding up and <laughs> uh, if they're not responding right away like pinch their because if someone passes out like you pinch their ear in case they have hearing problems. Oh, is that right? Yeah, hmm. first aid one hundred and one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah. know that? <laughs> Fuck, I gotta get my uh, women's program on my license. I have no clue. Watch out for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's being quiet, but at the end of the day, she's like, the, I'll take you in the balls. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, watch out. I have a question. Yes. Go ahead, of course. Like, of some of the ex the most extreme ones that you're willing to talk I was, about. I was, I was hoping that question would come Yeah, on. I'm so curious as to um, what. The most extreme thing I get requested is um, people request broken ribs uh black eyes oh, wow I'm sorry. um really i've had a request for a broken arm wow yeah <laughs> i i i'm as uh i was as shocked as you the first time somebody asked that of me and was kind of in shock for about a week because the request just kept pouring in i thought is this like is this fucking real like this can't wow, be wow yeah but so uh, how did they know to ask you this like how did they know you weren't gonna like say like they don't Oh. Is the is the problem? Um, huh. So if you've heard of sessiongirls.com, that whole site is full of girls that are in a similar or the same niche as I am. Okay. Now the problem with that, guys going to these types of girls, uh -huh. they are lovely girls. Don't get me wrong. But the problem is, the vast majority of them are bodybuilders. They are not trained fighters or chokehold okay. artists. Okay. So they're just power. Yes, okay. which means there's no technique, yes. which means there's no training, which yeah. means... Mistakes can happen. Mistakes wow. can happen, and if Mad they don't know when to let go of a chokehold... Of course. That, that, that could be brain damage. Gotcha, yeah. Is the thing, like it's not... Yes, I, I get that the fetish element is important here, but... Um, it's also, you have to like, play, you have to, you have play, to be play safe. sort like, of safe a, too, of course. You don't want to go, exactly. yeah. yeah. Yeah, like there's a safe way to do this. Yeah. Is the problem, and then there's some guys that are so offside. They'll be like, "I want to have a session with no safe word," mm. which I will not, under any like circumstances, indulge. That's yeah. Like what is limits. that? What is what is he giving you the go ahead for? Like basically, a beat down. Don't stop. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. what would be his satisfaction, like of the beat down, like like because there's no safe word. So what, like. When would I like have my? Pill? I would never indulge a session no, no, no. like that. Ever. No, I'm just curious if you've just out of conversation. Um, what would that guy's is it, expectation the, be? The loss of feeling the loss of control. Like just not in the, in the presence of a beautiful woman. Mm. Yeah, but like I mean, also like physically, would he want to be busted up like bad? Yes, like, Bro like, like broken ribs, black eye. And that'll just make um, his day, eh? Oh yeah, he's got punches. <laughs> Like, that would be yeah. up. <laughs> yes. You got I'm a great job, babe, by the way. 
Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Maxine Straker, she's got a game going on. <laughs> but those, uh, go again, ask you had another one, uh, one of those other questions, Tracy, because they're actually... Yeah, well, actually, if you had a favorite, uh, mm. like, is there something that you really enjoy mm. doing? She's thinking, listeners, she, this mm. has got to be a lot of good stuff here. That's, that's, that's tough. I like this, I like that, I love this, I, I like that. I love foot uh -oh. fetish sessions. Really? That yeah, seems I boring. Do. Not that I know anything about it, but I just I just don't find feet very interesting. I get it. It's not for it's not for everyone. I personally I don't. know it's a big deal. Like people out there like I just don't get it. But I I don't understand the appeal of looking at feet and all yeah, this and that. Yeah, I like yeah. my feet being touched. Yeah. Okay. Massage is, is one thing, yeah. but right. all feet are ugly. Let's be honest. To a point. Um, no, not mine. Mine are spectacular. Okay, yours are beautiful. There you go. <laughs> okay, so you're 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 you're. Feet fetish, foot fetish, is your one of your favorites? I'd have to say that's one of my favorites. Um, but what does that mean exactly? What is a foot fetish? Like, you're not going to break the guy's foot, are you? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> foot fetish can go in any number of different ways. So, um, uh, in terms of content, this isn't something that I that I have yet done in-person sessions, but I've had requests for foot jobs. So okay, like, okay, that's where I was right. going with it. That's what yeah. I was thinking, yeah. yeah, okay. So there's a lot of sexuality in that one. Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So the foot fetish is more sexual than the other stuff. Like, well, one of them were. It's all, mm. it's all sexual. Is um, it? Oh, giving definitely. Me a, giving me a black yeah. eyes, giving me a heart on? It's, for them, For yeah. some people, yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know, I was trying to make a joke, but, uh, <laughs> I can well, see the sorry. foot fetish, but yeah. There's a few people I know that are into, into feet? the foot thing. No, that's a like, huge thing. That yeah. I know. Uh, that I like. Obviously, you always hear about the foot fetish, foot fetish, foot fetish. Yeah. But uh, beating me to to a pulp is something you don't really hear about too much. Mm. Well, it's um, it's not as common a fetish in Canada like fetish wrestling at this point. It's extremely popular in Europe. Um, has been for a while. In fact, there's full. There's gyms where you can go to for this specifically. Wow. There's uh, like really yeah. There's just a bench full of dudes just in reading, Germany. reading yeah, they're crazy newspaper, yeah, yeah, yeah. waiting for their turn to get choked out by a fully clothed female wrestler. How do you know I can't choke you out though? Am I allowed to like, like you wrestle try? back? No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe on video <laughs> when we do it in a couple of months. But let me uh, seriously. Look, she's getting mad. I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting scared again. <laughs> No, okay, just <laughs> curiosity, no, no, no question. <laughs> like, is there a guy that can actually wrestle you back, like, or is he not allowed to wrestle? Um, or he's just there, supposed to be submissive? There's no supposed to be. It's we discuss all this beforehand. Uh, okay, that's the question. So there's, okay. um, I have requests for full competitive, so it's an actual like fight back as hard as you want, as hard as you can. Oh wow. Uh, there's uh, semi competitive, which uh, is kind of more half speed, and yeah. then there's the ones that request uh, like more sensual wrestling. I just so lie like, there, you do whatever. Kind of like it's more so they want to feel like their girlfriend is holding them down and saying, "You're not going anywhere, baby." Uh, <laughs> like yeah, kind yeah. of. That's not very. Uh, yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> That's fun. That's what? Good. If you're gonna do it, you might as well do it. Let the girl choke you out, man. What the hell's this shit? I'm seeing two very different sides of interest in this spectrum here. Yeah, yeah. That, already. I, I, I already. See what I mean? We got one who's potentially interested in the sensual side and one who's like, no, 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 I want to yeah. see blood and guts and Before gore. you came, I told him not to talk. I told him not to talk because he's going to do <laughs> Who wants to be held by with le uh, leg lock or uh, triangle lock and like... Well, I'm not going to give you a list of names, but yeah. You know what I mean. It's like, if you're going to do it, you do it. That is doing it for them, though. So. Triangle choke hold, pretty romantic. In the right mood. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some lipstick on. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little candlelight. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah. Let's take a little break, listener, and uh, we'll be right back with uh, Maxine Stryker and the Blowhard team. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm former president of the United States, Bill Clinton. How y'all doing? I was just sitting here playing my saxophone, being alone with my rock thoughts, thinking about Monica and Hillary and all the other women in my life, when something came to me and it was like, 
You know, when I was president, I used to make a lot of crazy bold decisions. But one of the easiest ones that you could make if you were president would be to rate, review, subscribe to the podcast. It's that easy. It's just all you got to do is rate, review, subscribe. And that's it. Anyway, thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back, listeners. Blowhard Talk Art here. Julian, Tracy, Tracy Pat's here, and Miss Maxine Hello. Stryker is still here giving us the juicy, I don't know, juicy, crazy, actually not crazy, realistic. Sure, yeah. let's go with that. That's what it is. <laughs> yes. You're basically saying they're coming up, they're lining up. Yes. I come in, you kick me in the balls, I'll go for a walk for an hour, come back, kick me in the balls again. That's what you, <laughs> that's realistic. That is. That's that not, really happened. I, I believe everything you say. Would that be, so would that be one of the weirdest ones? Like, have you, what, what's the, that'd be one of the weirdest ones. The balloon guy definitely uh, yeah, that's hits very, the top 10 that's list. Um, Don't get that at all. I don't no, know, I mean. Weird, maybe weird's not the right word. You need. I, yeah, I, I shouldn't polite. be using the word it's weird polite, actually yeah. myself. But, yeah. Um, the most unique let's use the word uncommon. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Not as yeah. popular. Um, hmm? There's definitely I, st- I get requests for. Uh, I'm sure this isn't news to you, but golden showers and. Oh yeah, that's pretty basic brown too. Shower oh brown. And, yeah. How does that uh, work go? So I. I don't know if brown is something I could or would do. There's so uh, that's not part of your. No. I don't want to say menu, that's, but uh, your rep- repertoire. <laughs> repertoire. Yeah. I mean. I was gonna ask if there too, if there's anything that you will not like, if you were. It's it's something I would also. consider, but uh, I'd have to like really have a good conversation with this person. I was gonna first. say you have to have a really good can of beans. <laughs> yeah, so, and yeah, that was see, kind of see, okay. Bad thing, joke. Like, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it, it's not a joke. Is because there's a lot of uh, preparation that goes into an appointment like that. Uh, is just uh, it. So like you have to eat accordingly and yeah, time it and yeah. That sounds excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that's one of the yeah okay that one. But the, the the golden shower is pretty common. I wouldn't say common, but it's a. Uh, I get maybe one of the, one or two of those in my inbox a week. That's it? Yeah. Because oh, I thought that was more of a, here, I'll pound that stuff. Like, I remember being at a strip club. The guy came in, ordered a little Bats Blue. The girl goes, I'll be right back. I go, <laughs> she was sitting with me. Yeah. She was my clients here. So she went, sat down with the guy, ordered a blue. He took, she took the beer, went to the washroom, spilled it, came oh back. Oh, my God. Filled with pee. He pounded it, gave her 500, <laughs> and she was back at the table in five minutes. And she goes, I told you I'd be back. I Good go, for her. Yeah, but I was like, he just pounded that That's shit. Dope. Yeah, <laughs> true story. Wow. And the thing, he didn't even drink the beer. She spilled it. He just wanted her pee. So that's why I said it's pretty popular. I mean, it's Labatt Blue. He wasn't yeah. missing anything. <laughs> <There> <laughs> Absolutely true. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. What about the, I seen on your Twitter also the pegging, the strap on thing? That must be popular. That's a big thing. That's a very big one, yes. Yeah. Uh, all ages, all background, all ages, everybody? Yes. Young people are into that now too, I hear? Yep, both genders. Yep. What do you mean, females? Yes. Females just get, oh, they get strapped on too? I have female clients. Well, I would figure they just, oh, they, 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 they don't like, they're uh, lesbian. Am I confused here? I, there are any number of different names for someone's sexuality, but there's... Okay, I don't call it, I can't, I'll, I'll, I'll pull back a sec. Yeah. So the female that wants a strap on does not like men? I wouldn't say that, no. Maybe they like everybody and everyone. Oh. They're pansexual. They just, they love You're everybody. You're in the mood for a little strap action. Well, you got to remember that um, a woman wearing a strap on is going to have a different kind of performance than a male with biological, a biological dick. Uh, that's true. Um, a female's hands feel, feel differently on your back. It's a different demeanor. Um, simply a different experience. I guess. It doesn't necessarily make anybody anything. No, 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 no. I, I, I went way offside on that one. I was just trying to say like age, like I heard like a lot yeah, of yeah. younger, these younger guys like today are into that. But like before, like what my, my generation, they wouldn't let a, a finger go in your butt. <laughs> now it's like, hello, let's do it. Yep. Mm. 
Yeah, now it's a. Is it because of the popular. videos, like the, the the internet? I'm sure that's helped to popularize it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, is that one of your favorites? It's fun. It's, it's easy, I guess. Oh no, I wouldn't say easy. I mean, oh no, I'm, I'm an athlete, so they expect me to fuck like one. <clears throat> oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel scared. <laughs> like, do, you, do they? Do they? Do you pick the size, or do they pick the size? I, I am picking the size. <laughs> Come on. I am picking it. But how do you know the guy could or the person could take it? Does we, it matter? We have it. No, it absolutely matters. Of course it does. Uh, so we have a conversation about that first. That everything is discussed beforehand. Okay. Uh, that's kind of the whole, the whole mm. idea of kink and BDSM. Is, I totally get that. Is communication. Yes, of course. Yes. Is okay. extremely important. It makes because sense. Because the second boundaries are pushed in a way that are not fun, then it's not. The entire experience is. I get is you. ruined for I both I get. Yeah, parties. yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, I mean, the, the most obvious question is, uh, like, I have to ask them, like, have you done this before? If yes, like, how big, how long, okay. how long so ago the, so was it? So it is covered, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So if they tell you they have their new beginners, do you suggest anything or do you just... If they're new beginner, I have a beginner-sized strap-on. Which is what size? Just out of curiosity. Mm, I think it's three and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at Pat. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's a little bigger than that. There, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's the biggest yeah. strap Somewhere on? Somewhere in between What's the those. biggest strap on you've ever used? So I haven't used like a giant, giant one. Like the one, the biggest one I've been using is only eight inches. Okay. Right. Um, I'm definitely due for an upgrade, so. I've seen this video. There's a video with this guy. Like he literally gets, uh, I don't know, he's, he's actually a pretty popular porn star with all the porn star girls. Mm. And he's like ridiculous. Like he'll take like like this, like like jug of water thing. And it's like, oh, the, what the fuck's you know going who, on there? Uh, do you know Natalie Morris? Uh, sounds familiar. Um, uh, trans porn star. She's spectacular, but she's a, like anal is her thing specifically. Okay. And this um, size she's is... She's a champion. Wow. Holy wow. shit, like champion. There's no, this is the size, the size doesn't like, no problem. Most resilient butthole I've ever seen in my life. Really? Oh yes. Wow. wow. Spectacular. So when you say it's not easy, what do you mean it's not easy? It's tiring for you? I or mean, it's, it's a quad workout and a half. A quad? Oh, your legs? Bang, yeah. Bang. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess. I mean. Makes sense. Feels like I've gone to the gym and done like leg day after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's a workout. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's a big thing too, right? So these guys are like, your inbox is full of those guys. Yes. Wow. Hmm. So we got that all covered. <laughs> <laughs> we were. I was just uh, wondering your OnlyFans and all that. I was looking at. I was creeping your Twitter and stuff. Yeah. On your OnlyFans, if we were to like to sign up, what would we get? What would I see? Would I see some of that action, or is it more of a you tell me. So um, my OnlyFans uh, there has a lot of different aspects that uh, people enjoy about it. The first and foremost, foremost important thing is that it's open communication with me. So I, I respond to DMs. So cool, cool. like um, questions that I would not ever in a fucking lifetime entertain through social media that are personal. Uh, on, on, yeah, on the actual, anything else. Yeah. So um, clients have the opportunity to ask me, oh, like, what do you think about this or that? Or here's my, I, can I tell you a story? And can I ask what you think about this? Or, um, so you interact with them? Yes. It's because they're subscribed to you. Very, very in, like, that's, that, like, that's my personal touch is I'm very, I like to be very I like interactive okay, good. on OnlyFans. Good customer service. Yeah. Like, I mean, I... I'm sure I, I know I don't come across that way on social media, which is intended. Because those guys right. are just, they just want a freebie, we'll call They're it. looking for free Jerk attention. off material, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it was a while before I figured that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that uh, Twitter but, and all that stuff, you gotta, they just, guys just look to yes. get that free message for, so they can, whatever yeah, they free attention. Yeah. Right. And you can't even, Tell them to fuck off or call them names because they like that too. So yeah, oh, I guess yeah. So that's <laughs> that block button just comes down hard. <laughs> yeah. So in, so your only fans is it like any like like that stuff we were talking about, bomb yes. busting and all that stuff? Yes. Uh, so 
uh, when you log in, the first thing you see is uh, my my main feed. So there's different, a lot of different pictures that okay. um, and announcements. So I do live streams. I announce live streams. Um, I like to do contests. Um, so I have like a once or twice a week. I try to have like a dirty story contest. So whoever, you know, has the best conversation with me about like whatever dirty experience they had okay. recently. Um, and then the winner gets like a five minute free custom video or something. Oh, that's cool. That's, okay. Or um, I like to do uh, JOI games, like jerk off challenges. Yep. So like I give them a very specific type of picture. The most common type of picture with JOI are, is, is muscle fetish. Okay. So okay. I'm a little more ripped than the average person and it'll For be, sure. You know, a picture yeah, of my tight physique. Yeah, of my naked body doing a flex and say like, here, here's this picture. Here's your challenge day. You're going to stroke in this rhythm, and you're going to tell me exactly how long it took you. And the person who had the longest stroke stamina gets a prize wow. at the end of this contest. So I like, I like to do a lot of uh, like different things like that. But then there's also, of course, the regular video content that I. The stuff that, that I yeah. pop out into the DMs and and of course I take custom video requests. Okay. Um, so I could just cool. call you and say I want, or if I was a part of OnlyFans, say I want you to give me a video of you ball busting Pat, for example. If Pat's into that, yes. All right. I, don't I, I want to. I want to do this. I want to pay, man. I want. I want this video. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to take that up with Pat because he looks a little he's squeamish. Got, he's got, yeah, he looks squeamish already. Right? It's a little bit. I don't think Pat's ready for. That. I'm not ready to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good mask, Pat. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, grow it. <laughs> what a Dick Cheney man. With the glasses over top, please. <laughs> That's yeah. Right. Okay. You know, uh, the, just the, I recall our phone conversation at the beginning. Yeah. The way you really got into it was the accident, right? Mm -hmm. This is a good, funny, funny, like interesting story, not funny. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. Yes, uh, kind of a deceitful misunderstanding. By who? By who? Uh, so um, when I was training at at a gym in downtown Toronto, there was this. I, I forget who it was that introduced me to this page, but uh, some, uh, it was a page called Absolute Mixed Wrestling that found my regular Instagram and messaged me and asked, uh, would you be interested in doing an underground grappling match for, you know, for a few extra bucks? Okay. I thought, yeah, sure. Sure, that, that sounds like easy money. Let's, let's do that. So I, I show up and... Uh, this is in Toronto. Yeah, this is downtown Toronto. And, um, I picture a basement, like dirty, oh, grungy. Oh, no, no, no. No? No, this was a nice, bright condo. Okay. You know, I do my couple of grappling matches, like like bikini-type stuff. And it wasn't until, like, it was over and, like, I'm seeing the other girls coming and going and, like, everyone's, like, dressed really flashy. Sexy, yeah. like? Like, flashy, sexy, and here's me in my, like, regular fucking Muay Thai clothes and, you know, So what of, were they doing there, those girls? They were wrestling... I'm getting their, to that. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a little bit... Uh, okay, go on. Uh, but I noticed, you know, <laughs> the flashy outfits and it kind of just... Yes, mistress. Yes. That's better. Mm -hmm. um, kind of light bulb just kind of like went off. I'm like, okay, I see what this is. And like he was uh, the, the guy behind the camera. I, I well, think. they were videotaping this. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, for content. And I got talking to the other models that were there and uh they said yeah this is this is what i i do for a living like this is this is my only source of income and it's great i started uh getting more and more into it and i like found different sites and started making my own content uh once i figured out how and then once i was kind of immersed in the fetish wrestling i thought well why not Try to branch off into the, maybe the other stuff. So too. that started the whole Maxine yeah. Striker. That was where Maxine Striker. So be, started. before, if that never that happy accident never happened, would you be here today? I don't know. Is the answer? Would you be working um, like? Would I think I would be. So I think I would be. I don't know how I would have got there, but. Uh, so it was always in your blood. You're thinking you were meant. No, to. it was not in my blood. I was raised Catholic. Okay. And uh, that's not really on the like as far away from any of this as you could 
possibly fucking imagine. <laughs> um, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. Coming from such a extremely conservative background, I kind of, I don't know. Like when, once I like discovered it, and I I was opened up everything. Yeah. Because yeah. it does yeah. take a certain person to be able to. I suppose. Yeah. Like I'm sure. Okay, I know you said you'd kick people in the balls, but at the end of the day, I don't think every girl could do it. Right? That's a fact because I've um, talked to other service providers yes. who are just service providers and they just can't. Other types of service providers yeah. that uh, this is definitely not their thing. The which cup of tea, yeah. Kind of surprised mm. me. I thought everybody would be into doing that for a paycheck, but it's, as it turns out, no. Yeah, um, actually, I've had this conversation before, even with like that golden shower thing. Some girls that, will do it. That and some I can won't understand because. Oh really? I mean, peeing in front of like peeing with your friend in the stall is already tough enough. Like trying to pee on a complete stranger. I imagine for some people, if you're not used to it, that's yeah, I guess yeah. I never difficult. About it. Especially if the guy just wants to drink it all. Yeah. Some girls find that like I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like one guy, one girl wanted to, the guy wanted to buy her condoms that she used during the day. Wow. At the end of the day, I'm he'd not go surprised. buy. That He'd does go not by at the end of the day second. and he buy like, her condoms. I'm like, really? Yeah. Like, what the fuck's he gonna do with them? Drink them, I guess. Whatever. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna eat the cum out of them. Yeah, <laughs> but after no, two I'm days, serious. she goes, I can't do it anymore. Like she she wow. she told him no, and he was paying fifty bucks a condom. And I'm like, wow. why wouldn't you do it? She goes, it was just got a little too weird. Not weird, uncommon, I guess. Yeah. See, that's the thing. You have to have a certain kind of stomach for this. Like, I I don't I don't know if maybe I'm just kind of a weird person and this all just kind of goes over my head, but. I'm not gonna make a comment. Uh, <laughs> You're not weird. That would, that would be wise. Yeah. Um, I wanted to keep my, I wanna keep my elbows. I, could, uh, I don't want to have any broken bones before I leave here. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe I should look into it a little further. Into what? This. The, the keep punching guys out? Well, there you I'll go. I'll teach you anything All you of want, it, yeah? Wanna, Mistress yeah. Tracy okay. is gonna sign up soon. <laughs> That's what you're gonna have to call me from now Mistress on. Mistress Tracy, uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah. Recruiting. Um, just to go back to that though, were you training to do MMA? Is that when you got... I am the... still training to do professional MMA, yes. Which That's is kind exciting. of um, why within this niche, I became one of, one of the more popular dominatrixes in Canada because there's, there are other doms who, who do what I do, but within Canada, extremely limited. Oh, is that, what would you guess, like how many, like five, 10? That do what I do? Yeah, yeah, yes. On the level that I do it? Sure. I don't know if there's any. Really? Eh? Um, no, I know there's other girls that do choke holds, but again, they're, they're bodybuilders. So they're just power? Power without Are they powered just... proper technique. Okay, mm. yeah, I guess. So how did you yeah. get into sort of the martial arts? Like, is that something you grew up doing? Like, as well, um, like that was just something I, like, I grew up with Bruce Lee movies, yeah. loved it, um, got my black belt in karate, got away from karate when my sensei died, uh, like, was away from martial arts for well, like, a long time. Well, it's good for now because you bulb us, so it's, I'm sure it helped. Well, and, and then um, <laughs> seven years ago, I don't, I don't know what, what possessed me, but I was just, I was living in buttfuck nowhere Muskoka. Okay. And uh, UFC came on and I just kind of got like this like fascination just oh, right I then see. and there. You got ex yeah, yeah. I'm like, I could do that. That looks fun. I could see you doing that. Yeah, and um, I kind of I kind of fell in love. Yeah. Was what happened. I fell in love with MMA and I I started I started out in boxing and it's it's been it's been a love affair. So what's the approach since. to get to that level now? Like, are you gonna like go I'm, for I'm it? I'm ready for pro really, now. Eh? I was ready for pro before before the pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah. Pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can pandemic. Say that. You okay. said it right. Of course, I call <laughs> before, it the pandemic too. Before the pandemic. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, I had an mm. offer from Bare Knuckle Boxing on pay per view. Bare Knuckle Boxing. Yes. Okay. And. Uh, then it's pretty extreme, right? Not as much as you would think. It's actually you're much less likely to get brain damage and bare knuckle because you can't hit as hard or you're going to break your own wrists. It's more bloody, but you're probably not going to walk. Is it legal in Canada? Damage. No. I didn't think mm. so. Okay. Not in Canada. 
yes. yet. But was it legal in Canada? No. Was MMA taken away before? Amateur MMA yeah. was taken away I in recall Canada that. Long, because yeah. one guy in Ontario died. Yeah. But the story that people didn't tell is that he died from a, a bad weight cut, not from actually getting punched in the head. Oh, really? It's weight cut that yeah that that kills you. Well, oh, and it was it was amateur too. I would so look. I would love to see you fight in the ring. I'm uh, waiting here back from a few different leagues yeah, right now. Uh, it's going to be UK or the States. Well, make sure you let it, let us know because uh, I will. we'd definitely like to give you a shot over that. That'd be good. Uh, yeah. See the next Ronda Rousey? No, please no. She, <laughs> she cried. <laughs> I had it, Pat. What did I tell you? She was, well, she, yeah, she was in that kind of... Her arc was sort of really I named cool. my grappling dummy after her because it lays there and just cries while I beat the stuffing out of it. Jesus. <laughs> Shots <awesome>. fired. <laughs> Anyways. Awesome. All right, Maxine, do you have anything to add? Or like to tell your listen, the listeners out there anything about uh, some upcoming events, something that you're, you want to share with them Promoting? before? Um... About upcoming like events, not so do much. Do you have anything like, like obviously we're going to put all your links on uh, Twitter and all that kind of stuff for so all the people could hear and awesome. see. Yeah. But uh, nothing like planned, like any, like you said, you're on the path for the fighting thing. So when that yes. happens, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right now I'm focusing on um, on making my, my OnlyFans great. Like it's, uh, I'm putting a lot more work into it that I have been previously. Um, there's going to be a lot of great new content coming okay, out. Okay, great. Like I'm starting to work with other I'm content gonna creators. I'm going to subscribe, actually. Dope. Nice. Um, so I'm going to get a bundle package. Is that true? Yes. Perfect. Yes, there are bundle packages. Um, All right. That's it. Yeah. Tell the listeners, subscribe. Just tell them that Blowhard sent you. There's no discount or anything. But we just want to let Maxine know that You've heard it here. Yes, please. Yes, yes. yes. You know what, subscribe. We'll give them a t-shirt, a blowhard t-shirt. Yeah. No problem. Tell us, yeah, show us the receipt and you get a free t-shirt. <laughs> you know Love what, Maxine? It. We've yep. been doing this for two years. It's actually, it was the day we spoke on the phone, I knew this was going to be a really good time. <laughs> and like, I think, uh, you know, I think you're awesome. Like, I don't know what Thank else you. to say. Like, Oh, this, yeah. is, this is a lot of fun. Yeah. This is a great talk. It's great. We're going to go to video in a few it. months. I want to, maybe I'll let you give me a choke uh, hole just for oh. fun so you that people brave? can laugh. Feeling brave? Yeah, you know, I got to I gotta give in. I got to be that guy to <laughs> sacrifice for the team. That's right. Taking one for the team? Taking one for the team. Oh, yeah. You are allowed to farm that job out. Like... I know, I'll probably check it all later, don't worry. <laughs> that, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, that's Maxine, perfect. thank exactly. you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Thank this is great. It's been a pleasure. Julian. Tracy. And the lovely Maxine Stryker, guys. We're out of here. Have a good week. Bye.